Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everybody's well. So, um, took the car to the garage this morning. Um, finally, after about three hours, two and a half, three hours of sitting there, they had zero answers. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have my ex-husband come pick me up. If it's done, by the time y'all close, let me know. I'll come get it. But I got to get home and do stuff. I can't be sitting here all day. Okay. I can't because, and this is definitely a better story for another video, overhearing conversations and playing that mental game of what's their Zodiac sign is not how I wanted to spend my day at the car dealership <laughs> getting my car fixed. So I actually took notes on one conversation I overheard because I'm very easily distracted. Anyway, <laughs> anyway air signs. I botched your weekly. I did. I did. And it's because I'm, I'm a truth seeker by nature and I'm a very logical and analytical person by nature. So when the universe throws out an Oracle card after a reading that made absolutely no sense with the reading, it didn't process in my brain that somebody needed that message off that Oracle card. So as I'm trying to read the message out of the books, like, what? No. No. So y'all get a special read. As promised, apparently somebody needed milk and honey yesterday. Okay. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the next seven days, please, universe. It was a horrible shuffle. We're trying that again. <clears throat> They're like a Sagittarius archer's bow right now. Like, for real. Come on. Okay, one more. Just to try to straighten them out. Ooh, seven of coins, two of wands. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for my air sign friends, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring my air sign friends to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them in their highest possible spiritual path. Hmm. Something not kicking off? Dead seed. The strength is the two of swords in the reverse. It's the snap decision. The weakness is the four of wands in the reverse. Sometimes that ability to make a snap decision does not always end well, does it? Mm. Mm. What do you want, air signs? 
Knave of Cups reversed. It's gotta go. Two of Cups. What's coming in? The Knave of Swords. You gotta do the Emperor outcome the Knave of Wands. Huh? Bottom of the deck, the King of Swords. Now he's the great thinker. Makes logical, well thought out, clear decisions without emotion. Okay. When we make snap decisions, those decisions that we make without a lot of clarity, without a lot of thought, without a lot of information, that's a different ball game. Talk to me about this Two of Swords. Ah. <clears throat> Y'all, I've got to get my table in here. I need somebody with a good, strong back to help me move some furniture is what I need. Uh, talk to me about this Two of Swords. All right. Four of coins reversed. Okay. Queen of Wands. of coins. Okay, so you know what you want. You go after what you want. If at first blush, you don't think you're going to get what you want, you just let it go. Let it go stagnant. Don't put any energy, F, any energy or effort into it. My throat chakra is like, blah, blah, blah. I can see where that can be a strength. But I can, I can also see where your strength is your weakness. But it's that snap. This isn't going to give me what I want. Bye. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Why is the four of wands reversed here? For the weakness. Queen of Swords reversed. Knight of Wands reversed. Temperance reversed.
I think it's giving you a little bit of a bad attitude. It's stunting your growth, causing imbalance and negative energy. Towers take a whole lot more time to build than they do to knock down. Your weakness is your lack of patience. Hmm. The seed that didn't grow. The seed that didn't grow. Hmm. Okay. What do you want? The Knave of Cups reversed. Sounds more like what you don't want, but okay. Eight of Swords reversed. I just dropped a whole deck of cards. That's funny. This is the card that flew out. Yeah, I'm not taking all of these cards, universe. That feels like a legitimate drop. It's the arthritis, guys. I apologize. It is the arthritis. Page of Swords reversed. Eight of Swords reversed. Page of Swords in the upright is what's coming in. Let's analyze this for a second. Here's what you don't want. You're sick of being lied to. You're sick of being given empty cups. And you're not get a go going to get all wrapped up in your head about it. I feel like some of you are giving up. Some of you are sick of being told what you want to hear and then have it not happen. Eight of Wands reversed into the Nine of Wands reversed. Sometimes you just... <laughs> You're done. You just want to, some of you just really want to just throw in the towel and just not deal with anybody. Just not do it anymore. Because you're sick of the sleepless nights. You're sick of being in a cage of your own thoughts about love and emotions and thoughts. You're sick of the rush in, bail out. You're sick of lies. Wow. Hmm. Why is the Two of Cups here for what's got to go? Five of Coins reversed. And the Six of Coins reversed. Empress reversed and the Emperor reversed. You are not in a place right now to be able to receive. You are not in a place right now. For it to grow. Honesty and truth is coming. You're not balanced. You're not open to it. Some of you are actively searching for something that you are not open to. 
some of you are in this headspace of I keep getting screwed over. <laughs> so that's what's going to keep happening to you. You gotta get out of that headspace. More importantly, you gotta get out of that heart space. Talk to me about this Knave of Swords. Talk to me about this Knave of Swords. Three of coins reversed, four of coins reversed. High Priestess. Upright. Into the Empress Upright. One more. Oh, it's raining. Two of Wands reversed into the Three of Wands reversed. Oof. Oh, honeys. Something is coming with potential. You're being divinely guided to something with potential. But I don't see you taking it. I see you contemplating it. I see you being stuck at the crossroads about it but I see you not taking it. <sighs> One more. Seven of Cups reversed into the Eight of Cups reversed. There's confusion. I think some of you need to decide what you want, what you're looking for. I'm hearing I've tried all the damn cups. <laughs> I don't want any of the cups. This could be someone who's returning or someone you're returning to. Three of Wands reversed into the Four of Wands reversed. The potential is there, but you're not ready. You're gonna walk away. Or it's gonna walk away. What you got to do is the emperor. You have to regain control. This is the representation of all four kings. Okay? This dude's got it going on. Knows what he wants. Goes after it. It's clarity of thought. Well-rounded. Respected. Has his shit together. Has a handle on his emotions. Quite frankly, I think y'all just need to get some, some y'all. I'm not saying all y'all. Some y'all just need to get your shit together. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. or meaning that in a bad way. And this little page, this little knave, he's the bearer of truth. 
This might not even be a potential lover. This could just be someone holding a mirror up in front of your face and saying, listen. <laughs> no matter how hard you look for it, you're not going to find it until you're ready for it. You're not ready for it. It'll happen when you're ready. I don't think y'all are ready. Talk to me about this emperor. There's a lot. I mean, I have all four pages. That, it screams immature energy. And again, I'm not saying that in a bad way. Or I'm not trying to mean it in a bad way. Nine of cups reversed and the ten of cups reversed. See? You're not in that emotional place where you're whole within yourself right now. You can't take another cup on right now. You don't even have nine. You're not ready. Eight of coins reversed into the nine of coins reversed. Maybe you don't have the time or energy to put into it. And that's okay. If you're not ready, you're not ready. But if you want to be able to take a cup, you need to get ready. Seven of coins reversed into the eight of coins reversed. You don't have the patience for it. The emperor wants the empress. Does he need her? No. You need to get to that place where it's not a matter of needing someone to fill a void. Or needing someone there. It's about wanting. Being in each other's lives because you want to be in each other's lives. Not because you need it. Do you understand the difference between those two statements? It shouldn't be a need. Talk to me about this knave of wands. He's someone. Though, there's things that impede his path a little bit. There's obstacles. He keeps walking because his dream is to one day be king. Knowing what he wants and going after it. Talk to me about this name of wands. The moon and the sun. The moon into the sun. The path is not lit, but he walks it anyway. Because he knows the unknown path leads to happiness. Is it a scary walk? Yeah. But he walks it. And he grows as he walks that path. And he evolves and he changes and he matures as he walks that path. And the King of Wands' dream is one day to be the Emperor. Because the emperor is the embodiment of all four kings. So you have to walk into the situation as if you are the emperor. You have to want it. It's not a matter of needing it. It's a matter of wanting it. 
start one more on this Naval Wands. Five of Cups reversed. Into the Six of Cups reversed. Uh, that's touchy. But hear me out. I need one on that. Seven of Swords into the Eight of Swords. Oof. Oh, okay. I feel like this is what happens is as long as you... S God, I don't want to sound like an asshole when I say this. If you fail to evolve and you stay in that, in that Nave energy... You stay in that, I need this. You forever lay in that sadness. And you forever lay in that, in that heart set and that mindset and that, that bad energy of the Six of Cups reversed and the bad blood within yourself and within any other relationship that you've ever been in where you got screwed over. Part of that is attaining emotional maturity. Understanding that things happen for a reason. Even if it was the shitty stuff. You have to get to that place of evolution. Or you stay in that seven of swords. And you keep moving into that eight of swords. You keep going back to that place. Where you're constantly in the cage of your own thoughts. A place you don't want to be in. You just keep going back there. Does that make any sense to anybody? Is this making any sense to anybody? Ace of coins at the bottom of the deck. You stay right where you are. The seed that didn't grow. You have to plant good seeds before they're going to grow. You have to get your throat chakra not working. You have to get yourself in the right heart set and the right mindset to sow seeds that grow. And you can't do that if there's bad blood within yourself. It all begins with you. All right, I'm gonna try this Oracle thing again. <laughs> can I get, can I get an Oracle for my air sign friends, please? No matter what Oracle it is, Somebody needs to hear it. Come on, give me one more. It's going to make me pick one. Clean it up. Twenty one. Two plus one is three. Three is the number of divinity. Interesting. My goodness. Ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight? Could you be surrounded by physical clutter in your home also? 
too much work, overwhelmed, time to clean house. Every item out of place naters away to you. Every unsolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack, takes up energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds up to an unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now is the time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. Y'all think it might be time to clean house. I'm a Libra rising. I'm wondering if this one's for me. Huh? Okay. Well, air signs, I love you guys. Take care. Be blessed. Know that you're loved. And I will catch you guys next time.